What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Today, we're tackling the drone fix, but... This, uh, this is the compass connection. The terminal's all, like, jacked. Not safe. And then the, uh, this is, like, the battery cable. I don't know if you can see down there. It's all torn down there. So, that's not good. This isn't something I can fix. Like, I had to look up, the company where I bought the parts was uh, Drones Made Easy. I gave them a call and said, hey, listen, here's what's happening. They advised me that the board definitely isn't safe to operate like that. So, uh, they are, they're hooking me up. They're hooking me up. I did have to pay if they gave me a little discount, so huge shout out to Drones Made Easy. Those guys are super awesome. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys to check out their website. For those of you who do drone repair and drones or anything like that, get your parts from them because they're super cool. Uh, but yeah, I can't fix this yet. I got new parts on order, they're on the way. We do have a live stream starting shortly. The uh, family's gonna go swimming, so check that out. We just finished playing some Rocket League. Check out my Rocket League car. That's Octane, suggested by one of these guys in here. Everyone in the chat getting their goodbyes in. Thank you so much for joining us for the live stream. It was, uh, it was fun. We only did it for like an hour and a half, but we got a pool to finish filling up. What's wrong, Fluffy? What's the matter? What's the matter? You're begging for attention. What is it? Oh, I know what it is. I need to go to the store and get Fluffy some cat food. Fluffy's out. Look at you. Look at your belly. You're a big cat. Yeah, you didn't used to be that big. Garfield. Compared to you, Echo, you're just a lean little deer. Huh. Okay, son. We, don't, I we don't need know. the cat food. Let's see how strong you are. This one? Yep. That's the one. Get it, muscles. Oh my gosh, you're strong. Right. Holy cow. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. I want one of these so bad. I saw one yesterday. Was it yesterday? At Kathy's? I wanted it so bad, but it wasn't ripe yet. So we're getting fresh pineapple today, boy. And some bananas. Let's Gotta load up on that fruit. I love eating fruit when it's warm out. We still have some watermelon too. Yeah, we still have some watermelon. Yeah. This dude's a better shopper than I am. Cottage cheese. Um, down here probably. Ooh, Twinkies. All packed. Look, here I made a bonehead mistake. Look at this. I put all the cardboard in the back to go to recycling. I forgot to drop it off and to drop it off. It's like way out of the way So I just went grocery shopping and had no place to put it so I had to put it over there. Thankfully. It's just you in here Or you could just put it in there. Yeah, I could put it up there, but you know Well, we got to steal some water off our neighbor over here That's our neighbor, That's our neighbor. last year we filled the pool with Nana's water Veronica's mom because she has city water and there's no concern for look This is what happens if we would fill up the pool with our water it's even worse there's more. It turns yellow it turns orange, orange. That's well water orange for you water, yeah. our house runs on well water So we have to have a softener and all that stuff for the inside yeah. So our stuff doesn't turn orange Nana's on city water so that's where we get our pool water. <laughs> oh, Liza! 
<laughs> Liza, she tells you play, play, and this is what she means. She wants to play on the trampoline. And yes, she just woke up from a nap in a diaper, and we came outside. This is gonna take forever. No, it won't. Not like that other thing. Here. I promise. Help, Daddy. That a girl. That a girl. Thank you, Liza. Oh, you're a big help. Whew. I wouldn't be able to do this without you, Liza. Oh, blowing up. <laughs> Huh? You gotta just hold it in there, make sure it doesn't come out. We saw how this went in yesterday's video. Next time I think I might get an electric pump. Might be a little better. This is how quickly this pool will fill. Look at that. Uh huh. It'll probably take, my guess is, Four hours. What's your guess? A few hours, at least. A few hours? Uh -huh. six. Four hours, I say. You say six? Uh -huh. We started at what, nine? It's nine? It's nine o'clock. Holy cow. Oh, life. Welcome to the barn. Say hi, Ninja. You ready for a ride, Ninja? Ninja's gonna get his first ride in a long time. He's like, what? Just spurt of the moment. Hey, let's ride. So you guys are gonna get to see me ride Ninja tonight. Not to mention our weather. Yeah, the hot. weather, like, and we did decide let's do it late at night because it's nice and cool now and the weather here has been like 90 degrees during the day. So that's not fun riding weather for us or for the horses, so. <coughs> The cats never come down, ever. We have run into a bit of a snag. I noticed today when I was here cleaning the stalls that Ninja's foot looked a little off. Um, his hoof. You wanna get in here and talk with me, buddy? Huh? He's creeping towards me. Um, but it's been four weeks since the farrier was here and trimmed his hooves and he was here the other day and I should have got him trimmed while he was here. <laughs> you can see he's got this chip out of the front. He's just growing fast. And then this crack there in the side. So with that concern, I'm probably not going to ride him just to keep the pressure off. Um, Tessa's getting a hold of the fairy right now and seeing what he thinks. but. Probably just gonna groom him up a little, brush him out, cut his mane off a little, and then um, wait till the farrier comes. Probably going to have to put shoes on him. Since we're gonna be riding him a little more, just go ahead and put shoes on him. Build his foot back up. Build his foot back up and all that good stuff, so. You lucked out, Buck Bud. I'm not going to ride you tonight. We're going to get your foot fixed. Almost, but just kidding. Yeah, I tried. Hmm, I tried. We're going to put him back up for the night. There, <laughs> there is plenty of other horses that need ridden, right, Tessa? You could say need, or you could say should be. Should be ridden. Or you could say that we just like the luxury ride. We're going to do it. Tessa's saddling up Norbit. He's a pretty boy. Three year old. Yeah, he's a youngin. He's a youngin, so he's just learning. <laughs> yes, he's my baby. He's my baby, but we're going to put him up for the night. And like I told Tessa, I don't want to turn him out or anything tomorrow until the vet come or the farrier comes and sees what's going on with his foot. Good night, Ninja. Good night, baby. We'll get him all fixed up.
Norbit's so pretty. Tessa didn't end up riding Norbit. He needed a little more groundwork than what she expected. So she just kind of did that. Lunged in this way, lunged in that way. Worked him a little on, on the ground. We she, were just kidding. We weren't even planning on riding tonight. We were totally planning on riding tonight. It's too hot for this. Maybe after we get Ninja's feet back in shape, we'll be here riding. Look who's still awake. And editing some videos. Yeah, I'm syncing. I'm syncing the interview videos because we shot two cameras for every interview. Interview, And so the audio and two camera angles have to synchronize. Mm. Which is pretty seamless and I've already done that but now it's chopping it all up and finding all the best little pieces. Mm. That's the most time consuming part. I got this. I got this. You're good. You're a good editor. Editor. I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see me ride Ninja tonight, um, but hopefully keep your fingers crossed that we can get his foot fixed and he'll be on his way to being ridden again. You got anything else to add? What is tomorrow? Thursday? Thursday. Oh. It's no. Thursday already? Wow. So that is where we're going to leave you guys for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see all of you right back here tomorrow.